What's up guys, Aaron here from Denny Collins Fitness. As usual here, doing a video, hoping to provide some value, hopefully a little bit of education, a little bit of awareness that you can take with you on your health and fitness journey, and hopefully we both get some value out of it. So today we're talking my fitness pal. Okay, so this is kind of a loaded subject and it's very common. A lot of people know about it. A lot of people's heads are wrecked with the topic, with the app. And I'm here to just clear up a bit of confusion and hopefully reach a bit of clarity when it comes to calorie tracking, uh, etc. So for anybody who doesn't know, my fitness pal is a health and exercise app that you can log in your workouts, you can log in your food, and it will give you the exact, uh, well not the exact, excuse me, it will give you the calorie content of foods and your calories burned, etc. okay? So, excuse me, there's many of them on the market, but MyFitnessPal is very, very popular. And today I'm just here to explain how to use MyFitnessPal. So as always, download it on the Play Store, create your account, etc., and log in all your details, okay? So step one is set up an account, okay? Now, this is my opinion on my fitness pal, okay? Don't take it for gospel, this is just my opinion. So when you create your account with my fitness pal, it will give you a calorie goal and a weight loss goal and it will tell you we are going to get you down to this weight by this week if you eat this amount of calories every single day, okay? And to be honest, it probably will work, but, okay, big red flag warning alert, my fitness pal will put the majority of people on very, very low calories in order to achieve weight loss, okay? So it will put you on deprivation calories and anybody who's eating that many calories, that low calories, will without a doubt lose weight and lose body fat. But you will be miserable in the process. You will have no energy, your sleep will be terrible, your sex drive will be very, very low, and you will feel like dirt, okay? So that's one reason, bad reason, that my fitness pal will work, okay? So it will put you on very low calories, and the other big thing with my fitness pal and a lot of calorie trackers, if I'm honest, is logging in your calories burned into any app will lead you into a false sense of security and give you this safety net of calories that you think I'm after burning five to seven hundred calories and I'm sorry, but you didn't. OK, so with my fitness pal, OK, in my opinion, ignore the calorie goal that my fitness pal gives you. Ignore it. Enter all your details and create your account, etc., and ignore the calorie goal that my fitness pal gives you. Okay, my opinion. And red flag two is ignore calories burned on any app, on any Garmin, any Fitbit, any calorie tracker. Forget about calories burned. Scrap it. Okay, you did not burn five to six hundred calories in a workout unless you're elite level athlete, one of those CrossFit professionals, or unless training is your full-time job, your calorie burn probably isn't that high, okay? So let's get those two things out of the way first, guys, okay? Create your account, okay? Enter all your details, ignore the calorie goal, ignore calories burned, okay? From the get-go. So, with that said, using my fitness pal, guys, okay? This is very, very simple in my opinion. When you create your account and you're new to it, just eat as you have been eating, okay? And this is so important with my fitness pal or any calorie tracking app. You must be 100% honest on everything you are eating, okay? So for a period of six to eight weeks, okay, you have to be 100% honest with the app and add in everything, okay? Don't try to be good all of a sudden and don't try to eat like an angel all of a sudden and only log the good things, okay? To build true awareness and to be brutally honest with yourself, eat as you have been eating and just log everything you're eating. In my opinion and experience, the majority, of pe the majority of people who do this correctly always come back saying, I had no idea I was consuming that amount of calories, okay? For me, when somebody says that, I always say, well, you're doing it right then, okay? Because everybody underestimates it. So, how to use my fitness pal is, you must, at least for a period of six to eight weeks, okay, at least, log absolutely 
everything into that app, okay? And you must be 100% honest. Every meal, every snack, every biscuit, every oil, every sauce, every sip, absolutely everything, and especially, especially on weekends, especially on Saturday and Sundays, you must log, okay? You have to, okay? Reason being, in my opinion, if you do this intensely, okay, for about six to eight weeks, you will build a huge level of awareness and um, mindfulness around calories and the calorie content of foods that you consume regularly, okay? And I don't expect anybody to log to an app for the rest of their lives or even for a year, okay? But minimum, minimum, six to eight intense weeks of calorie logging, if you do it correctly, will change the way you look at food, the way you look at calories, the way you look at weight loss, okay? I guarantee you, if weight loss is your goal and you use my fitness pal correctly, okay, you will be surprised with the amount of calories you're consuming, okay? If you are somebody that is consuming 1,200 calories, okay, and not losing weight, you are not logging correctly. You are consuming more than 1,200 calories, okay? <laughs> okay, that's just off the top of my head. So, guys, with my fitness pal, if you are going to use it, just to recap everything, if you're planning on using it, and I recommend using it, is, again, just to recap it all, create your account, ignore the calorie goal that it gives you, ignore the calorie burned option that it gives you, okay? So, eat as you have been eating, log absolutely everything for at least six to eight weeks, and determine your average calorie intake every week, especially on weekdays, or excuse me, on weekends, okay? Even if you're having a bad weekend, great, okay? And from there, okay, let's say off the top of my head, this is not specific, you average that you're consuming, I don't know, like, 2,500 calories every single day, and on the weekends, you go to 3,000 calories on Saturday and Sunday, okay? If that happens, you can determine that then. You can go, okay, that is my average calorie intake, okay, over the course of a whole week, and it's been that way for six to eight weeks. Even just coming down the weekends alone, bringing your Saturday and Sunday to 2,500 calories, you will lose weight, okay? Or bringing Monday to Friday down to... Uh, 2200 you will lose weight okay but without the education and awareness phase of the six to eight weeks of honesty that will never happen okay so guys if you are planning on using my fitness pal okay i recommend doing what i said but keep in mind you must be 110 percent honest and you must do it for a good period of time to truly build awareness and truly build mindfulness around calories, calorie content, and weight loss, okay? Guys, I really hope this helps. At the end of the day, it really does come down to an education and awareness phase, and there's nothing super secret, nothing fancy. If you're not being honest with it, if you log some days, don't log other days, mixed output, mixed input gets mixed results, okay? And it's that simple. Okay, so guys, I really hope that helps. Let me know if you're thinking of using my fitness pal. Have you used it? What did you think of it? What was your experience with it? Calorie counters and macro loggers get mixed reviews in general. Let me know your experience. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Okay, hope it helps, guys. Have a great day. Happy tracking. <laughs>